2024 security patch here kernel used here is 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used here this is how it is i uh, really liking this ui guys it was really really smooth even better than some of the other ports what we can see uh, there are some customization we'll start with that first guffy lab or the guffy x os lab status bar and display again you get clock chip as you can see if i disable it's simple clock chip radius you can adjust you can use custom color as you can see custom color if you want to use something like green here you can actually select them and set color as you can see and chip main color again colored status bar icons you can enable again extreme dim options are given you can adjust intensity of it change app all server change theme server again you will get some options regarding that dpi adjustment also can be done here these are the status bar and display customization in terms of notification custom notification panel is also given here ios style color os style next to os style let's see it's not going to change that much notification shared body sorry this is not a control center style uh, color os style ios style let's keep it default and ios dynamic island is already turned on by default and notification history if you want you can turn this on coming into hidden settings you will get some maybe a lab based on android 13 it is data saver quick replies app languages developer options can be turned on from here and that's it these are guffy lab customization now moving into the actual settings here mobile networks that's how it is and internet interconnectivity you will get all these options if you want something kind of a vpn hotspot private dns other things you will be using that wallpaper and personalization and lock screen customizations are there these are main differences once you start customizing them like filter got it like that apply you need to turn on the always on display see the sounds here and this is how the always on display first start seeing the wallpaper I mean the lock screen and there are few wallpapers also this you need to manually install the apps here and this is the wallpapers pre-installed here the UI is really really smooth they are working very close here it's kind of a smoothest rom i can ever seen on mi 11x and effects you get all these options again very similar to any of the custom rom and wallpaper and personalization lock screen again you get basic customization notification status bar you get all these options here home screen you get plenty of customization here too if on traditional buttons you can do that search mono style search bar blur xiaomi or google animation speed again make it fast here other settings like icons customizations are also given and show memory status and arrange items and recents i want to make it kind of recents ios and this how it looks like uh, we'll go into settings actually yeah those are the customizations what we can get and display and brightness again light mode dark mode is also in the pitch black condition color scheme again you get plenty of options here and anti flicker mode refresh rate custom refresh rate 6120 is given font settings ai image engine all these three options has been given let me turn this to this all the basic things what we can get in the settings and in the battery life you get four different modes performance mode while gaming balanced all the time and battery saver when juice is less fingerprint face unlock well check out this saw the fingerprint unlock speeds here now coming into face unlock it's also very much fast and accurate to unlock your smartphone using that additional settings again you get all the extra options memory extension up to 6 gb and tap plus option is also given floating windows those things gonna work fine here now moving into some of the results what i got from this particular room before that next player is pre-installed here record weather application this how it looks like and scan security application is also given here this is hyper -S security application it has been updated and the ui is very much smooth guys i really liking that and gallery application you guys can see while going back you will get some colored 
animation here we'll see some results before that you also get this recognized text table pdf options and basic google services you need to enable it out guys once you flash the rom it will show you a pop-up just enable that 1137 is the single score and 3220 is the multi-score and version 14 links 4.1 and 0.157 kernel has been used geekbench version 6.3.0 i'm using and this is a read sorry basic integrity and status profile match both getting passed and devices certified and for using payment application is not a problem drm information dolby vision it is showing but hdr 10 is given and level 1 certified and so hence watching ott is not a problem again this is my atl fiber connection pulling up to 240 read speed test with numericals and graphical turbo charging support 33 watt charging is there you will also get this kind of um, dynamic island features here even if I turn the silent mode, as you can see, you get those core hyper features. Everything is working fine. Camera application again, you get a MIUI camera here. As you can see, it's not a hyper camera, but everything is working fine here. 4K 30 only. Those are the given settings and everything. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular room, comment down in the comment section. And if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification pressing the bell icon again if you want to like the video give it a like guys i'll be making similar kind of videos in this particular channel we'll see bgmi how actually it handles in this particular rom coming to graphic settings you guys can see a smooth plus extreme is given here that's how you will get you will not get extreme plus options here and you also get the gaming mode here i already turned on the performance mode and you also get these options saturated and bright both the options you can get in this brightness towel you will get it turn off screen option enhanced visuals is also given here voice changing mode is also given i have read the conditions these are the things you will get it let's see actually will we get 60 fps kind of game or not smoothest or not you will see some lag here this of the volume panel very simple to me 13 or the me 14 high price is also similar even in the counter attack there was no uh, lag anyhow these are the quick settings toggles yeah it was the sniper hence the gameplay is fine if you download completely and use it a proper good internet connection then it will be fine this but 90 fps could have been better but again this is what they have gave the gaming experience is fine here we'll come back here does the gaming experience everything is fine guys i haven't faced any issues as of now and these are the quick settings toggles what we can get nfc is also given here in the edit section there are few more options if you want to add them you can drag and add them i really liking this from as you can see the smoothness is next level here uh, previous versions were not that great but now it is really really smooth i am really liking it i definitely recommend it as a daily driver guys if you have any specific questions comment down in the comment section we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now